My name is Ashley Greenway, and I fight out of Body Quest MMA out of Gastonia, North Carolina. My manager is my coach and trainer, Alan Greenway. I've been fighting since October 2011, and I got in it through my husband. Um, I, when I met him, he was fighting, and we opened our first gym about eight years ago. And um, I started training Muay Thai and just decided to fight last year. I am amateur as of right now, and I'm three and one. Um, I've been working on my wrestling and my ground and pound. Um, I think I'm, I'm pretty good at stand-up. Um, I've been doing that the longest. I'm still working on that. Everything's still a work in progress. I work out about six times a week, um, Monday through Saturday. I take Sundays off. Um, as far as my nutrition, um, I try to eat good. Um, when I have a fight, I'm way better at it. Um, when I'm not fighting, I tend to be a true fatty. <laughs> but as far as nutrition, um, when I'm cutting weight, I normally just stick with really good, simple foods. I cut out all my carbs, try to lean out really good. Um, typically, my weight cut, um, I normally cut about 15 pounds. Yes, um, so as of my last fight, that wasn't really good for me. Um, so I'm going to try to fight about 120 or 125 and uh, build some more muscle and try to take a little bigger. Um, I look to do a couple more amateur fights, see where I am. And that, um, I was hoping to maybe make my debut as a pro later on this year or early next year. Um, as far as that, I'd, I'd like to go pro, I'd like to get big and try to make something of myself. I love Anderson Silva, uh, John Jones, I'm a really big fan. I love all the fancy stuff. Um, as far as my role models in North Carolina, I would say my husband, Alan, I really look up to him, his stand-up's phenomenal. Um, as far as girls, uh, Sarah McMahon, she's a beast. Um, I'd love to be able to wrestle like she does. Um, and of course, I just fought Tisha Torres. She's a beast. I, I would love to be her. <laughs> She's phenomenal. As far as pro to start out, I would like to fight maybe Jordan Gaza. I know she just turned, she actually is turning pro today. She's making her debut. Um, I would like to fight her. Um, well, the difference between male and female right now, um, I think that males are dominating. I, I mean, they're fully well, well rounded. Um, you see a lot of wrestlers coming out and putting a name on their self. Um, as far as women, I think we're just starting out and there's a few to, to look out for. Um, as far as women, I, I locally, um, people take one or two fights and realize it's, it's a little different. But I, as far as women, I think, I think we'll be big. I, I think it'll take a couple years and the more people are serious about it, I think we'll make a name for ourselves. Once I step in the cage, I don't think of anything. My adrenaline's going. I don't worry about getting punched in the face or getting something broke. I feel it afterwards, but as far as being in there, I, I mean, that's not my interest. My interest is in there and doing what I do best and finishing people. I definitely think to be successful, strength and cardio play very, very big factors. Um, you could be well-rounded, but if you don't have the strength, then basically you look like I did. <laughs> that's fine. Uh, as far as cardio, you gotta be able to go. You gotta be able to go the distance. You can't rely on finishing in the first round because it's not always there. If I was an MMA fighter, um, I would probably be either a hairstylist, which was what I was going to school for, or I would love to be on Broadway, which is what else I was going to school for. <laughs> All right, the one piece of information I would say before you go into a fight, stay calm, don't be nervous. Um, I mean, you're there to put on a show. Hard work pays off. Just do your thing.